The important concepts in this chapter are heat and temperature, effects of heat, thermometer, boiling point of water and melting point of ice. In this capsule, we are going to study heat and temperature along with their differences and under effects of heat, we will learn thermal expansion of gases. Hello children, when you go outside in the sunshine, you feel its warmth on your skin. We get heat and light from the sun. Heat is a form of energy which is transferred from one object to another by conduction, convection and radiation. Heat always flows from a hotter object to a colder object. The ultimate source of heat energy is the sun. Heat energy is very essential for the survival of life in any form. There are many uses of heat energy. Heat energy is used to warm the surroundings. Heat energy is used to generate electricity. Heat energy helps plants in food making process or photosynthesis. And heat energy is used in distillation of liquids like water and liquor for purification. Children, now think and answer. Make a list of activities at home that require heat. Answer. We use heat energy for cooking, ironing our clothes, to dry our clothes, getting warm during winter. Children, you can add more uses of heat energy at home. Now let us understand more about heat energy. Let us do an activity. Take a cup of water, put a drop of ink into it. What do you observe? You see that the ink is spreading slowly in water. Why does this happen? It is due to the movement of molecules in water. Heat energy is also concerned with movement of atoms and molecules. Now observe this. All matters are formed from atoms and molecules. In microscopic view, we see that all particles in a matter are in random motion. They are vibrating, colliding randomly. In an object, all particles have kinetic energy because of their random motions. Heat energy is the amount of internal kinetic energy of all the molecules. Greater the amount of kinetic energy, greater is the heat energy. Now, let us define heat. The total kinetic energy of all the molecules in a substance is called heat. The SI unit of heat is Joule. Children, write this down in your notebook. Dear children, whenever we talk about heat, we talk about temperature also. In daily life, sometimes we use them interchangeably. However, in physics, they are totally different concepts. Now, let us understand about temperature. Let us take two similar beakers A and B with water in them. Let us supply heat energy to one of the beakers, say B, for 30 seconds. Stop heating and put your right hand in beaker A and left hand in beaker B. Do you feel the difference? Yes, you feel the warmth in beaker B because of heat energy supplied to it. 
Temperature. This measure of hotness or coldness of a body is the temperature of the body. Now, why does the temperature of the substance increase when heated? Consider water in a beaker. We know that molecules of water in the beaker are in random motion and have kinetic energy. Due to this, they possess heat energy. Let us heat the water. Water molecules move with more kinetic energy and they collide with each other. This results in changes in speed and direction. As a result, there is not a single speed at which the different molecules move. So, we have a range of kinetic energies. Heat energy supplied increases the average kinetic energy of the molecules. This increase in average kinetic energy is called temperature. Now, let us define. Temperature is a measurement of the average kinetic energy of the molecules in an object or system. SI unit of temperature is Kelvin. It can be measured using a thermometer. Children, take this down in your notebook. Now think and answer. The molecules in a sample of sodium chloride are not free to move about. Does the temperature increase when heated? Why? The answer is yes. The molecules of sodium chloride vibrate more rapidly when heated. This increases the average kinetic energy and hence the temperature. Children, here is an interesting fact. Do you know why wearing more layers of clothing during winter keeps us warmer than wearing just one piece of thick clothing? This is because more layers of clothing will have air trapped between the layers. As air is a bad conductor of heat, the outside low temperature does not get transferred to our body as well as prevents our body heat from getting transferred to the colder surroundings outside. Hence, more layers of clothes keep us warmer during winter. Children, let us do an activity. Take 100 ml water in beaker A and 200 ml water in beaker B both at the same temperature. Which beaker has more heat energy? Beaker B has more heat energy because it has more molecules and therefore more kinetic energy. Now let us boil the water in both the beakers. When they are boiling, measure the temperature using a thermometer. You observe that both the beakers show the same temperature. What can we say about this? Temperature does not depend on the mass of the substance at a given temperature. Children, now think and answer. Write the differences between heat and temperature. The answer is Heat is a type of energy, but temperature is the measure of thermal energy. Heat depends on mass of the substance. However, temperature does not depend on the quantity of matter. Heat cannot be measured with a device, whereas temperature is measured using a thermometer. The SI unit of heat is joules, whereas the SI unit of temperature is Kelvin. Now we know that
supplying heat results in the rise of temperature. This is one of the effects of heat. Let us know the other effects of heat. Now observe this video. When the candle burns, the solid wax melts and becomes liquid due to heat. What can we conclude from this? We can say that heat energy changes the state of the substance. Children, now observe this video. You see that when heat is supplied to water, its temperature increases. That is, heat energy changes the temperature of the substance. Observe this activity. A balloon fixed to a glass flask with cold water is put into another container having hot water. The balloon gets inflated. Why? The gas expands on heating. Now, this inflated balloon is placed in cold water. What do you observe? The gas contracts on cooling and the balloon gets deflated. We can conclude that gases expand on heating and contract on cooling. Here are some daily life examples on thermal expansion of gases. When the compressed fuel mixture is ignited, the gases expand and work is done. Internal combustion engines are powered by the expansion of gases. Bread rises in baking because heat expands the carbon dioxide gas it contains. Children, observe this video. The roti swells up due to thermal expansion of gases. Now think and answer. A table tennis ball is dented. How can you correct its shape? The answer is Put the ball in hot water. The gas inside the ball expands due to thermal expansion and pushes the inner wall outwards and the dent is removed. Here are some questions. Discuss with your friends. The hotness of an object is determined by its dash. 1 litre of water at 30 degrees Celsius is mixed with 1 litre of water at 50 degrees Celsius. The temperature of the mixture will be, your choices are, A. 80 degrees Celsius, B. More than 50 degrees Celsius but less than 80 degrees Celsius, C. 20 degrees Celsius or D. Between 30 degrees Celsius and 50 degrees Celsius. Children, note this down in your book. Two objects that have the same temperature also have the same thermal energy. Yes or no? A piece of metal will feel colder than a piece of wood at the same temperature. Why? Children, note this down in your book. Now you have understood about heat as a form of energy, difference between heat and temperature, effects of heat like increase in temperature, change of state and thermal expansion of gases. Here is an extended activity. Take two balloons. Inflate them, one of them partially. Keep the partially inflated balloon in the hot sun for some time and the fully inflated balloon in the refrigerator. Note down your observations. Discuss with your friends and write down your conclusion with suitable reasons.